My point to you is saying God's words are powerful. God created the world with words. He gave us the power to use words. We're the only creatures he ever created with the power of words. Words are seeds. Seeds are energy. Seeds energize of their kind. Healing seeds from God's word will produce healing in people. Blessing seeds from God's word planted in them will produce blessings. Love seeds from God's word transmitted by us into people by them hearing us will create the fruit of love in anybody. Even an opponent who makes the mistake of listening. You can change him. He'll be changed. Maybe not right then, but the seed goes in him and brings to pass the miracle. What do you think happened the other night to Brother Frankel? That Jew from New York to whom that Puerto Rican witnessed time and time again. Bringing a track, bringing a track, bringing a track. He does read the track. He was making the mistake of listening, of looking, and the words were going in him planted and were energizing the life of God in him. And he got him to go to church and ask him to say something, and he opened his mouth and said, I accept the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior. <laughs> that Orthodox Jew was changed like that. Hallelujah. What a miracle. The power of words. The police chief there in Nakuru that was that had injured a leg and couldn't walk on it but was in his jeep and was angry at us and didn't want the crusade to go on sat out in his jeep and listen but that's where he made his mistake he came to look but instead he listened and the word recreated him and the police chief instead of shutting us down his leg got cured and the chief got saved and is today a preacher of the gospel in in kenya hallelujah the power of the word of god and oh boy i could tell hundreds of stories like that all over the world the word energizes i started to say you would be amazed at the power that there is in you to bless people with the word of God if you would speak the word of God to people. I'm talking about Jesus saying to the centurion, go home, your son lives, and it worked. Jesus believed in the power of his words. He was appointed, he was anointed, he believed in both of them. He spoke the word and the servant was healed. Hallelujah. You would be amazed at what would happen if you would practice the presence of Jesus. Talk to people, minister to people, being conscious of Jesus in you, of his word in you, of his seed in you, and speak his word with faith. You would be amazed at the coals that would dry up, at the tumors that would disappear, at the, at the backs that are lame that would go, that would be straight, at the pains in the body that would go away. You would be amazed at the hope you would light in the hearts of people in despair. But because of something you said, they'll tell you six weeks down the way, when you said that, I saw a light, or I heard a voice, or something transformed, something took place in me, and that moment, it was all fixed, and I knew it was okay. But if you stay dumb, and don't let God put his creative power through your lips, you will never know the joy of ministering the word of life to hurting people. Are you hearing me?